Have a blessed day, ma'am. I'm Maria Elisa Riday Mapalo, a third-year criminology student of Pinma Arroyo University from 3CRI A2-4. This video is all about glass fracture. The objectives of this video that the student must met are first, present the topic in five slides. Second, explain the importance of knowledge in glass fracture in crime investigation. Before discussing the specific matters related to glass fracture, let's talk about first what is glass. So glass is a super cooled mixture of metallic silicate. Generally, glass is preferred as transparent, semi-transparent, non-crystalline, and amorphous solid. Having a number of physical properties such as density, durability, rigidity, and refractive index. So these are the main characteristics of glass. First, transparency. The visible light travels through glass instead of being absorbed or reflected. Second is heat resistance. It can endure a high range of temperature. Third is pressure and breakage resistance. It concentrated stress introduced by a load that exerts more pressure than the theoretical strength of the glass. And glass is chemical resistant because glass is resistant to the most acid. Let's proceed to glass fracture. What may be the causes of glass to break? It can cause by force such as bullet, vehicle, or rock, or caused by heat. Crack will form until they run out of energy or material to break. If an object is flying at the glass, first the glass would bend or curve against the object, then the glass will eventually give a fracturing in a concentric pattern. Frequently, fractured glass will reveal information that can be related to the force or direction of an impact. This knowledge may be useful for reconstructing events at the crime scene investigation. There are types of fractures, the low-velocity impact fracture, the high-velocity impact fracture, and thermal fractures. I will discuss first the low-velocity impact fracture. It produces cracks in the glass, which radiate outward from the point of impact. Concentric cracks can form around the point of impact and only vulnerable lines on the radial crack will observe. Otherwise, the high-velocity impact fracture will produce a cone or crater. It has entrance and exit side that the projectile passes. On the other hand, thermal fractures produce stress that develops from a differential expansion within annealed glass caused by heating or cooling of areas of the panel. So how will you determine if the bullet is came from inside or outside? So, if the broken glass shards on the inside of the house, it is from outside. Conversely, when the glass shards would be outside on the ground, it is from inside. Let me give you an example. If you considered a window in the house, if most of the glass falls on the outside, then that would be a sign that the glass was broken inside. So this is the proper collection of glass evidence. Before any samples are taken, the entire scene will be photographed in detail. Tape measures can be useful in photographs to show the distance that the broken glass has traveled. Sample of glass should be collected from the representative source and also from fragments of glass that are lying on the ground, floor, or furniture. Place small glass fragments in the paper bindles that can be marked and completely sealed. The large glass fragments must place in boxes. Separate individual pieces with cotton or tissue to prevent breakage and damage edges during shipment. Then, sealed and mark the box containing them. Now, let us know the forensic analysis of glass. 
It is typically a comparison of two or more glass fragments in an attempt to determine if they originated from different sources. The 3 R's rule states that radial crack will form a right angle on the reverse side of the force. This rule enables an examiner to determine readily the side on which a window or pane of glass was broken. So bringing back on the one of the objectives of this video, let us know the importance of knowledge in glass fracture in crime investigation. So fractured and fragmented glasses are most commonly encountered at the crime scene. During the commission of crime, glass breaks in shatters into fragments or into minute particles that serves as trace evidence and may provide a significant lead for the probe. The importance of glass fracture is it can provide a noteworthy data that encourages an assortment of assessment to investigate the crime scene, such as Bulgari, arson, hit and run cases, shooting cases, robbery, and assault.